That's the 11 match in the Commonwealth Bank Series. We're at uh, Hobart once more. It's a match that India must win with a bonus point to stay alive in the competition. Kuma Sangakara comes to the wicket. <laughs> kind of feel he's due a big score. His captain, Mayla Jai Warden, is back in the dressing room. Tillakrat and Dilshan still out there. Dilshan has 25 from 40 balls, hit two boundaries in that. I reckon Ashwin wants to bowl to Sangakara. They've got a slip in place for him. I just sense that maybe the, the off spinner wants to have a go at Sangakara, the left hander, before he gets set. And that might be the reason that Jadeja is out of the attack. Well, there's the full shot. What a shot. Well, you talk about every shot in the book. Beat that one. Yeah, I'm just thinking how elements of Sangakara's game reminded me of Michael Hussey and vice versa. Their efficiency at the crease, really, their economy of movement, the way they both cover drive so well. They both play this stroke quite brilliantly. Hussey slightly more with, with, with his weight going forward into the full stroke. Yes, he uses the depth of the crease to some degree, but Sangakaras is a slightly more orthodox method of full stroke, but they're both super quick onto the short ball. He can see some easy runs on offer. He's made his way to 39 off just 52 deliveries, so he doesn't have to do a lot more. Oh, there it is. It's down to mid on and over. He couldn't wait any longer. Oh, he read that well. Sangakara taking on mid on. I'm sure he wanted to go over mid wicket, but uh, he still clears the fielder for six. Well, he's cleared the fieldsman, but the fieldsman's really made a nightmare of it. It's going to be six because it's hit the rope on the full. But Praveen Kumar is the man. It, he, uh, I'm not exactly sure how far in he was when the ball was hit, but if he stays somewhere near the rope, that's a probably a waist-high catch. Full through that period as well. Here he comes, flat down the ground. And that's his 50. Sangakara, his first of the series. Well, that was a figure I thought he'd wait for before he started playing a few shots, but he's I've got it all wrong. He's hit a six to go from uh, 40 to 46, and now a four to bring up his 50. That's a better shot, though. Straight, hard, flat, and in under control. Pull shot into the gap, and it'll be away. So Sangikara is waiting for something just a little bit shorter. Punished. Uh, he was going along pretty well, too, at the time. Oh, what a shot. They just seem to be coasting at the moment. They really do. 89 to Dilshan. 67 now to Sangakara. And uh, Sangakara striking it over a runner ball. Just chipping over the infield there. With such confidence, that's the thing. Ashwin continues. This will be his final over. And Sangakara has not missed a beat during the drinks break. He's straight on it. Pedal to the metal. Yeah, just watch this again. Uh, really short. You bowl like that, uh, you're going to get punished. Oh, that's nicely placed in the end. I thought he was going even more aerial than that. But in the end, he placed it nicely between the two fieldsmen in the deep. Well, it's certainly easy for Sangakara. He moves into the 90s. He's on 91 now. Off 79 deliveries, sweeping very firmly into the gap. There's two fielders back there on the leg side, but have no hope in stopping that. This time he finds the gap, does he? Yes, just nice placement. Good batting from Sangakara, who races to 95. Back-to-back -back boundaries. One for 226. Oh, it's in there. This could well be out. Oh, no, it's safe. And he's coming back for two. Will he run out? He's got there. Has he? Yes, no call for it. He's got there. He's back for 100. And that's the one scored by Dilshan. Good innings by Kumar Sangakara. Just off 84 deliveries, so he's got it in quick time. Turn back for two. Just made it with an ungamely dive into the crease. So one day hundred number 13 for Kumar Sangakara. To match the uh, 1100s for Dilshan. <laughs> Seven overs, seven overs, 42 balls to go, 245 on the board, one wicket. India haven't got their control at all. Oh, he's hit that and placed it nicely. This is going to be fun to watch, I reckon, these next 6.5 overs. These two will be thinking boundary every ball. 
It's going to be fun to watch if you're not an Indian cricketer or spectator as the Sri Lankans are well on top here in Hobart. They've taken full control of this game. Yeah, that boundary brings up 200 partnership. Sangakara going to the short boundary. I reckon the whole rest of this game is going to be played at this pace. India have got to come out and try this as well. So the finish for Sri Lanka and right from the word go for India. Oh, it's got him. It's well bowled. That Praveen Kumar got it full. He got it straight. And Sangakara just went across the line a little too much. He goes. That's the ball before. That's the same part of the ground he was looking to go, but the ball just wasn't there. Sliding Yorker, inside edge, under middle and leg, and a magnificent innings comes to an end. His quickest in one-day international history. A strike rate of 120, 105 of 87.